An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Nice to meet you, Angela. Nice to meet you, Clive. Thanks for coming on Valuation Day. Oh, okay. This is my apprentice, Opal. Hello. OK, we're trying to teach Opal about the antique job, shall we say. Jolly good. All right, so what have we got here, Opal? Well, it looks like a really practical corkscrew come shaving brush. Oh. <laughs> What's the idea of a shaving brush? Do you know what that brush is used for? Not for shaving, then, for polishing something. It's got a bit of black dye on the end of it. Do you know what it's used for, Angela? Taking the dust off the top of the bottle. That's it. Oh. So you go in the, down the cellar years ago, didn't they? Yeah. And the bottle would go on top oh, of the bottle, dust off the top of the bottle. That's what that's for. That's for hanging, probably. Mm-hmm. Like that. And what's the, do you know what this piece is called? No idea. Do you know what the piece is called? No, go on, tell me. It's called the worm. Oh. So the important value of these corkscrews is the worm. Right. This wiggly thing here. If that's damaged across, it's a little a bit of missing off there. The value of this is almost All right. yep. cut in half. So it's hard to repair. And what about this crest? This is the patent. Do you know the patent, person? No. King, it's, called, it's called a king's pattern. Right. Every one of these corks has got a, a pattern and design. And this one's called a king's pattern. Just, I just know from your know, experience of knowing these things. Mm. But some of you get quite valuable ones, and they've got different mechanisms. So, you... so it's all in working order. What do you think? Have we got any sh wine to use? <laughs> should we try it? We're in the right place. We've had a gin earlier. Yeah, the gin earlier. Never trying some wine, yeah. shall we? You know, I try it still works, wouldn't it? But you didn't try it really, because if you da damage the, the worm at the end there, it'd be, be madness. Oh, sorry. So it's King Patton's corkscrew with a nice condition with. Um, what's it called? Dusting brush. Yeah, I'm thinking the hair. I'm just can't think what his hair's called. Oh, like come horse hair? A, no, it's come off a badger. Oh, yeah. Badger's hair, it is. Yeah. Badger's hair, so um, that's quite nice. You know what the value? No idea. What would you say? Well, I wonder how old it is. How old How old? Oh, it's just your thing. It's the age, didn't we? No. How old do you think it is? Well, my dad's had it, oh, years. So. It's old, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, because he's not with us, bless his oh, heart. Bless his heart, yeah. And he was born in 1922, so... He's older than that. It's got to be older than it's that. It's got to be older than that. Yeah. How old do you think it is? Cool. So what we're looking for on this, interesting actually, funny enough, you said about the age, I forgot. Go on. Yeah, I don't know. So if we're saying 1880s, maybe? Probably not. Well, why, why it might be 1880s? I'm what just... can tell me, straight away, looking at that. Is it the materials used? Not so much material, but this, 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 on this crest here. See this crest? Oh. See that crown? Yeah. I don't know from experience of buying and selling things. This is the Queen's crown. Right. The Queen's crown goes up and like a little neat. Mm. And the King's crown goes across more sharply. Mm. We'll maybe find something another day with a King's crown on. Right. We'll make a note of that Queen's crown. Yeah. Okay, so that note we know it's Victorian. Right. Okay. Clever. So it's going to be 18, 1860, 1880 a day. Made of um, brass. What's this made of? That's, um, is it a bone? That's bone, actually. You like to say it's ivory, but it's bone. And the way you tell bone, it's flex. See these flex here? Yeah, what are they? That's the bone where it grows. Oh. Which is the same as your bones. Yeah, your yeah. bones, they've got the all flex in them. The ivory's got a different way of growing, so. So that's quite a nice piece, actually. Nice culture like that. And how do you value it again? Well, we take it into consideration what condition it's in. Nice condition. Uh, if it's still used today. Still I mean, useful? We wouldn't particularly use this, like you say, if we damaged it. Yeah. Um, and also the fashion as well, you know. People like wine. People collect wine yeah, and related exactly. items, don't they? Yeah. Drinking's yeah. still very yeah. in vogue, so that's good. So I think all those things are going in its favour. Yeah. Anything not going in its favour? Nothing. Nothing. Everything's going in its favour. Good. It's yeah. a nice clean item, actually, you know. They sell between... That auction number between sort of 100 and 150. Mm-hmm. Does that surprise you? It does, actually, yeah. What was you thinking? Well, because I can't use it because I'm left-handed no. anyway. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
What was you thinking? I don't know, I'd have thought about 50. Shall we give her 50 quid? No, I'll have more now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not silly. What should we give the lady? I think we should do, I think 110 and she'll be happy. What do you think? Go 120. No, I was thinking more like less than that, actually. Oh, I'll go for 110 good. then. That's not good, that's not good. <laughs> Opal, we just spend my money so quickly. <laughs> so we have to go over 110 now. Opal's That's opened it. a um, uh, mouth, shall we say? Wow. Well. Do you want to pay her later for me? All right. Okay. We'll do the do deal. Do a deal later on. 110 for that. Okay. <laughs> and what else we got here? Angela? This it's a little clock, but it's a musical one. Go on. Who shows that works then? Hmm. What would you call this then? That's it. The bird just ticks. What would you call that? In what sense? As an object of... It looks like a children's toy, doesn't it? But it is a working clock, so... It's almost it like a novelty sort of... item, yeah. but I love it. Yeah, it's, no, yeah, novelty sort of like kitsch, sort of... Yeah. You know, it's, not, it's a bit... I was going to say it's tat, but it's a bit better than tat, isn't it? <laughs> is that the right word to say? It's an item of interest. Okay. I mean, you need that's to look after nice, me on, on the worst. That's a nice word, way. On the worst. But it's, it's a nice little item, isn't it? You know, it's a bit kitsch. Does the bird sing? No, that's all oh. it does. It just, just ticks to and fro. I thought it was musical. I thought it was. No, my, the other bits are musical. Oh, that's not musical. Oh, right. No, that's not musical. <laughs> it's this sort of, like, flame here that moves to, to the time, does it? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So the time is now. Well, it looks like it's saying it's four o'clock. Time for another gin. Oh, I like it. <laughs> So, um, so it's working, so again that goes in its favour. Yeah, it's never going to keep good time. It's a sort of cheap. It is but a cheap it, movement, like yeah. sort of, a bit of sort of you know, from the from Germany or something. What's the um? Made in Germany. It's just thin brass, very thin. Yeah, you know, it's probably the age of that's going to be. I think it's going to be sort of nineteen fifties, sixties. You know, yeah, something like that. So, but value, it's going to be in the shop. It's going to sell for probably ten, twenty pounds, a bit of fun.